All right, everybody, welcome back. I thought it would be a good idea now to start getting into some more advanced topics, and nothing could be more advanced, maybe except for the cloud link, uh, as federation. So this is one of those uh, features that Genetech is very well known for, but is not uh, folks aren't super clear on when to use it, why to use it, even sort of what it is. So I thought we'd start with like a 101 class with my illustrious counterpart, Steve Pendino, and uh, and sort of get into like the, the who, what, when, where, why uh, you would use Federation. This is going to be the first part in a multi-part series about Federation. So let's, let's just jump in and dive in. Uh, so Steve, uh, one of my favorite sayings, explain this to me like I'm five. Like I don't, I don't get federation. What is federation? Great question. And yeah, we're going to keep this as simple as we possibly can. So imagine that you've got two independent parties. We're going to call this the school. We're going to call this the police. Mm -hmm. So you have a simply a user at the school that you're going to create that the police are going to log into. Mm. When they log into that user across what we call federation, there's going to be a role at the police station running on the security center system there called the federation role. They're going to use the credentials and the IP address that are given to them by the school, ideally over a secure link. And then that user is going to be able to synchronize all of or some of the entities at the school. So Whether what are cameras or doors? I was doors. just going to say, what are some of those yeah. things that we can synchronize? So, right, cameras, doors, alarms. Alarms potentially card holders yep, or some... probably not in that circumstance. So there's one differentiator. The, the police don't necessarily need all the teacher's credentials. Right. And so the user in this case, so the school district in this case, sets the, the rules and the parameters as to what the police department would have access to inside of their system. Yep. And a super important point to make is that the school doesn't have to share everything with the police full time. Mm. Maybe they're just sharing the exterior cameras, but during a threat level, maybe they're going to share everything. Threat levels are a future video, Steve. We haven't gone there yet. Uh, no. may, maybe at a future point in time, I'll put one of those cool cards up, up here uh, and you could click on that. Uh, Getting fancy. Yeah, right. Uh, so, okay. So we've we've determined what federation is like at its most fundamental level why would we federate a system so uh, this is a common question that i get yeah i've got a police department and a school district why can't i just give them a username and password and the ip address of of my system sure and you certainly could do that however with that federation role that's set up at the police department it now has a heartbeat that happens between the school and the police department. So there's no human that needs to check and see whether that connection is up or not. Right. And at the police department, they want to know and make sure that that's up full time. But not everybody's going to sit there and check it every single day, and they shouldn't right. have to. This is that's software, right? right? Yep. So we've got an active heartbeat that takes place between these two systems. So you know if the link between the police department and the school is down. Right. Yeah, and I think that's one of the, the most important aspects. The other uh, aspect that I would say is uh, of equal importance is, you know, the police department may already, so let's assume uh, I, as a, as a good salesperson, has do, have done my job and the, school, the police department is already also on Genetech. It would make no sense if they're going to use a separate IP address scheme and a username and password to log into the school district system. It wouldn't make any sense because then they'd have to log out of their own system and log into the other system. So in this case with Federation, you're logged in at the same time and you could see your cameras and all of your devices as well as the other uh, cameras and other devices that are being shared with you as well as the alarm events that may be occurring and, and the threat levels as as we mentioned earlier uh so i think that sort of nails like the the real sort of simplistic nature i think the only other thing that i would add to this is uh, can you talk more about the resilient connection? Because I, I think that's also one of the most critical features of Security Center Federation is that uh, you can get a lot more information than just the cameras and the doors and, and the entities. Sure. So 
by resilient, I assume that you're talking about the failover that we have. Not, necessar these roles? not necessarily the failover, although we could certainly talk about that as well. But like, what happens if a camera drops offline on the school district system? Gotcha. What would the police see in that case? Gotcha. So fair. And that's a that's a great thing to point out. So I'm the technical side. And as a technical person, I'll typically just jump right into the weeds where a simple question is being asked, you know, hey, when this camera goes down at the school and Phil brings up a great point, it's going to turn red. And same thing with the police through that federation. They can simply drop down the roll and they're going to know whether that camera is online or offline because they're going to see the same thing. That's right. Yeah. And, and it's that's super critical because like in in that school district police department collaborative scenario, if something bad happens at the school, nobody wants to find out that a specific camera's been offline for six weeks and hasn't been recording when the proverbial crap has hit the fan, right? They want to be able to they want to be able to know that that camera went down when it went down and then took remediation steps to get that camera back up so that way they're not worrying about something like that happening when there's a real crisis going on. Exactly. So, yep. And then so Federation is so now getting into the technical weeds a little bit. Federation is a role. Where does the Federation role live? Great question. And it's important. So the police are the ones that are going to set up that role, the police and their partners, their integrators. So the police set up a security center Federation role. And again, they point it at the school's security center system the directory that lives there, and the provided username and password. Does the school district need to be on the same version of security center? So when I say version, not version number, but like standard pro or enterprise. So if the police department is on enterprise, does the school district also have to be on enterprise? No. Right. So you could federate a standard system with an enterprise system. Correct. The enterprise system has to be on the police side. Right. Now, version number. How many versions back in terms of backward compatibility? So we're running 5.9 today, or if, if you've got a police department, they're probably running 5.7 or 5.8. Let's assume 5.8. How far back can the school district be from 5.8 in order for the federation to still function? So we're going to make this one real simple, too. Yeah. It's three down and two up. Mm. that's so, a rule of thumb that you go by now this is software <laughs> that can change we may increase the backwards compatibility in the future that's certainly a possibility or it may decrease so that one you do have to double check me on but okay the rule of thumb is three down and two up okay so in this scenario if the police department was on 5.8 the school district could technically be on 5.5 technically yes okay so I, th I think that's critical, too, because sometimes, you know, an end user might have let their software maintenance agreement lapse and they're stuck on a particular version of the software. So maybe they're stuck on 5.5 and the, the police department is on, uh, you know, a Genetech Advantage plan. So they're on a more current version. We don't want to break that federation. So we do allow for, for some level of backward compatibility. Well, Steve, I think that about uh, uh, hits the limit of my five-year-old knowledge of Federation. I, I think you've done a fantastic job of just kind of sort of explaining the core concepts behind Federation. If you have any questions uh, about Federation, please leave them in the comments section below. Be sure to like and uh, like this video and subscribe to receive more content like this. Steve and I are going to do another one of these where, where we get into some more advanced topics. So sort of like a 102 or explain it to me like I'm a 10 year old um, uh, style. So stay tuned for the next one. And, uh, and thanks again for watching and sticking through the whole thing. Thanks, everybody.